Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for being here tonight as we continue our annual 31 days of Oscar celebration. Up next is an Oscar winning science fiction movie that's airing tonight on TCM for the first time. From Paramount in 1951, Richard Durr, who we just saw in The Commando Strike at Dawn, and Barbara Rush star in When Worlds Collide. As the title implies, the story begins when a scientist, played by Larry Keating, discovers a new planet racing through space and hurtling directly towards Earth. With the help of his daughter, played by Rush, and a freelance pilot, played by Durr, the scientist sets out to evacuate Earth before the inevitable collision wipes out mankind. The film was based on a novel published in 1933, and Paramount bought the screen rights in the early 1930s as a project for the visionary director Cecil B. DeMille. But that movie was never made, and the story was shelved until 1949, when the idea was revived by producer George Powell. Powell was an expert animator and special effects man whose work on a series of animated puppet cartoons, or puppetoons, won him an honorary Academy plaque in 1944. He went on to produce and sometimes direct several films that won the Oscar for Best Special Effects, including the 1953 version of The War of the Worlds, Tom Thumb, the 1960 version of The Time Machine, and the movie that we're about to see. Powell served as producer on this 1951 production, and the film was directed by Rudolf Maté, who's better known for his groundbreaking work as a cinematographer on films as diverse as The Passion of Joan of Arc, The Pride of the Yankees, and Gilda. Maté wasn't the cinematographer on this science fiction film, but the production benefited from his expertise, and the movie earned an Oscar nomination for Best Cinematography. From 1951, the winner of the Oscar for Best Special Effects, When Worlds Collide. The role of the scientist's daughter in this film was played by our good friend Barbara Rush, who got her start in the industry playing leading ladies in two popular science fiction films of the early 1950s, When Worlds Collide and It Came From Outer Space. She rose to A-list status later in the decade with performances in more prestigious dramas, including The Young Lions and The Young Philadelphians. She also went on to co-star opposite Frank Sinatra in the 1964 gangster musical Robin and the Seven Hoods. Beginning in the 50s, Rush also became a successful television actress, and she spent the next five decades appearing in popular series like Peyton Place, All My Children, and Seventh Heaven. She's still going strong today and is as passionate about movies as ever. By her own account, she goes to the theater to see four movies every week, and she's also an essential member of the TCM community who can be routinely seen at the TCM Film Festival. Last year, I had the pleasure of watching my fellow TCM host, Alicia Malone, interview her before a screening of her wonderful drama, Magnificent Obsession. Up next, Barbara Rush returns in the first of two movies she made with Paul Newman, a Warner Brothers drama from 1959. 